Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on November 7th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Grateful to have you all inviting me into your living room. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Start out here looking at our sun, 304 angstroms. We did have that M-class solar flare reported yesterday. No new major flares have been reported since. But we do have a CME that was ejected from our sun, not in an earth-facing fashion. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming. Active region there on the right-hand side, producing the M-class solar flare. Other than that, not much to talk about, but that is going to be an active sunspot region to watch over the next couple days. Bright active regions heading out in the outgoing position. Large plasma filaments erecting from the surface, as you can see here, heading out the back side of the sun. Having a look at multi-spectrum, the last 48 hours, you can see that flash. That was from the M-class solar flare, from that active bright region. That little flash, that's from the flare. Got a couple major plasma filaments developing along the southern hemisphere as well in this view. Let's hope those stay intact. And the coronal hole that was developing overnight has since diminished. Looking now at the last 48 hours, 171 angstroms. You can see that darkened coronal hole region closing up. And right after that flash, it completely is gone. So coronal hole wind stream is gone, and now we are just awaiting and already being charged up by the M-class solar flares. I want to thank everybody personally for watching today. Much love, and I appreciate all the support to the channel. Staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Solar X-ray flux after seeing a minor C-class range today flare remains in heightened B range. Geomagnetic magnetic activity hopped up to KP5 right now, sitting at four. Having a look here, the last 12 hours, this is the electron flux, showing the increase of electrons. Real-time solar wind sitting at 392 kilometers per second. Small little spike there, ahead of an increasing density. Up to 24 density bunches coming today. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing the new CME blast. As I said, was not in an Earth-facing direction, but it is set to amplify the stream, the incoming stream that is coming. Having a look at LASCO 3 here, this is the last three days. Bright planet on the left side is Venus, and on the right, or sorry, on the left is Venus, on the right is Mars showing the last 48 hours of events. Two sun diving comets here to show in the bottom of the frame there, heading into our sun. Pretty cool stuff. And our sun is producing quite a bit of energy. Look at all those flashy elements. That is the influx of electrons and cosmic charged particles heading our way. As we already were experiencing an R2 geomagnetic storm from the M-class solar flare. Amazing stuff. Lots to look at there. Venus, our sun, Mars, and the sun diving comets. Our Schumann resonance for today is a power of 23, same as yesterday, quality of 7.2, power of 16, amplitude 23. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. USGS reporting just under 200 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. No major earthquakes to report today. But interesting activity developing here. California, Minerdo, Minidero, BC, Mexico border. As well, 3.6 there, White City, New Mexico. 3.6 there, Stanley, Idaho. And as well, 3.8, Lake Pillsbury, California. So increasing activity northward, continuing. 
Overlooking Alaska, minor aftershocks continue at Ak, Alaska and increasing seismicity through Anchorage. 5.25.0 earthquakes here to report in Russia, southern Kamchatka off the island there, as well as 4.5 and a 4.7 in Japan, in between southern Japan islands and Taiwan. 5.2 there to report Philippines, 4.5 here, Papua New Guinea, Kieta, and our deepest earthquake to report in the past 24 hours, 4.5 Fiji Islands, 511 kilometer depth. Largest earthquake today, 5.4 Germ, Afghanistan, pretty deep, 103 kilometer depth. Quiet through the South American plate, eerily quiet. Activity coming back to the Caribbean. But other than that, not much activity west of that. Quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes. Two sizable earthquakes to report off the coast of North American Plate this week. Large 6.1s. And the activity is moving northward towards the Cascades. Heads up. Stay aware and prepared. We've seen quite a few deep earthquakes as well through Fiji this week. Lots of activity. Banda Sea up into the Philippines. Increasing stress up into the Indian Plate. Pretty deep earthquake there, Romania, and as well right across the Atlantic, and way too quiet, Central America, South America. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and reporting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Checking out here, Sabancaya in Peru, as well as Sangay in Ecuador. Shevelich in Russia, Popocatépetl in Mexico, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Fuego, Guatemala, Reventador in Ecuador. Carrying on here, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Carinchi, Indonesia, Manam, Papua New Guinea, and Ebuko in Russia, Era in Japan, amongst a hundred. Hazards across the, the world right now. Many of them are flood alerts. We've got subtropical storm Nicole gearing up to make landfall southern Florida and then rake up the eastern seaboard of the United States. Other than that, that is the only tropical storm on the planet right now. Late season hurricane. It most likely will be a category one when it makes landfall. If not a category two, we'll have to stay tuned to the daily forecasts. Quick look here around the rest of the world for satellite imagery. Got some cloud cover moving into parts of United Kingdom and as well Spain and France and eastward. As well, very cold and snowy conditions through Alberta. Minus 22 with snow, about a foot of it. That's right. Having a look here, Ventu Sky, big storm by Thursday. Looks like by Wednesday. Going to make landfall here, Hurricane Nicole. And then, it, as I said, it's going to rake up the eastern seaboard here and crash in with an Alberta clipper. So this could be a big superstorm in the long range. Nonetheless, going to bring some extreme weather to the Atlantic provinces. Lots of snow towards Quebec and Ontario. Lake effect snow for Ontario as well this weekend. Forecast here from the west. Big low coming in lots of snow no major tropical systems developing after that overlooking south america no major weather events to talk about except for daily evaporation rains could be heavy towards buenos aires argentina border overlooking africa stormy conditions will linger for the next couple days through parts of south africa other than that no major changes Overlooking Europe, the snow is falling through eastern parts of Europe and as well Russia. Stormy conditions over Iraq and Iran. And some big systems funneling themselves into the United Kingdom this week. Overlooking Southeast Asia, the Philippines, Malaysia. Daily evaporation rains heavy through Indonesia. And as well, by next weekend, you got a pretty strong system heading into parts of southern India. 
could be a cyclone by the time. Other than that, the West Pacific is not producing any more major tropical systems. Long range, we could see a doozy heading in to parts of eastern India. Overlooking Australia, dry conditions will continue here until about Thursday, Friday, as you have the next low that moves in from the south. Going to bring widespread showers and extreme weather. Other than that, it is the cold that is going to be the big story this week. North central United States, that extreme cold will be funneling down into there by next Saturday and Sunday. But long range forecast watching these extreme cold temperatures grow even bigger as the polar vortex is really starting to set up. Going to leave you here with a quick look at our polar vortex in the northern hemisphere and a small comparison to the southern hemisphere very cold air as you can see funneling down from Siberia large high pressure ridge over the Pacific and there's our southern hemisphere polar vortex winter is definitely setting up and we've got full moon and a lunar eclipse early tomorrow morning thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed the show stay aware and prepared Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Thank you so much. Much love. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.